Hi guys, I'm Sameer Sharma. You're watching me on Rolling Frames Entertainment. Understand the goals. So you should be very much clear about the product life cycle and end goals of the campaign. Means what are you expecting out of all the campaigns? For example, if you're a B2C platform, the end goal might be that you want your users to be transacting online on your platform. But let's say you're a B2B platform, right? So you can't expect the user to do the transaction or try out your product immediately through online campaigns, correct? So probably the end goal might be just to generate a lead. Okay, so be focused. What is the end goal? What is the expectation of the campaigns? That's it. Understand your audience. That is the key of all your campaigns. Till the point you're not able to understand your audience, I'm pretty sure you'll burn a lot of dollars, a lot of Indian currency or whatever you're trying to do. As a startup, my suggestion is always choose a small niche audience, right, where you can experiment a lot and you can get a lot of feedback from them as real users, okay? So choose your audience wisely, carefully, and be focused. Third point is brand building. By brand building, I don't mean that you have to hire Tiger Shroff to do some action for you and build a brand for you. By brand building, I mean that you have to do a consistent communication about all the campaigns, about the brand, about the vision of the company. It should be same on day one and it should be same on the day end. Keep building a brand. Fourth point, zero down on the channels that you're going to use for the campaigns. For example, if you choose Instagram, you have to understand that Instagram is having much more younger audience as compared to Facebook. Similarly, if you choose Quora or LinkedIn, you have to understand the pattern or the formats you're going to have. Okay, so be very focused as for your brand perception, as a goal you have in mind, you have to be very specific as a startup that you should not be using all the channels. I would say choose a channel wisely and stick to it. Do a lot of experimenting around it. Next important point is content building. Content building is not just about doing the PR through different publishing houses. Okay, so content building is again very much related to your brand building. You have to be very consistent whatever content you want to publish in different platforms. Choose your content very wisely, be very consistent about it, be very vocal about it. So one of the key point is partner and collaborate. This is very important. So you should use it very wisely as a growth hack for your startup, okay? So for example, you know, you would uh, surely want to collaborate with some of the influencers of your industry. You would uh, want to collaborate with the existing players of your industry in a complementary way, not uh, directly with the competition. Of course, you'll not be able to do that. Right? Okay, so collaborate as much as possible. Do a lot of barter deals, do a lot of uh, barter branding, I would say, where you can also offer some kind of branding to them. In return, you get a lot of value. Okay, so partner and collaborate. So next point is measure ROI and improvise. That's very important because as a startup, you are unique. Your product is unique. You have different kind of USPs. So I might be saying a lot of uh, growth hacks to you, but end of the day, different products, different team, different environment, they act in uh, totally unique ways, okay? So keep improvising, keep watching your stats, keep, you know, simpler uh, ways to understand the numbers. That's the only way to keep on growing and improvising. Okay, last point, and which is the most important point, the biggest marketing channel on the planet for your startup is you and yourself, okay? So don't ever shy away from talking about your startup, the new things you're doing for the startup, okay? For example, you're launching new features, so why not to talk about it on the social media channels? Why not to probably call up your probable customer, your probable partners? So remember, so every marketing communication drills down to a human interaction. So don't ever lose that uh, chance, that opportunity that you are the biggest marketer for your startup. As a conclusion, I understand it can be really tough to market your startup with shoestring budgets. But with consistency and focus on practical goals, I'm sure you'll be the winner. I'm Sameer Sharma. You're watching your Rolling Frames Entertainment. Keep watching. Thank you.